Big Vic sent me this interesting screw holding screwdriver. Hunter 10M-12, Santa Fe Springs, California. And it has a patent number on it. The mechanism seemed sticky, so I added some light oil. I also worked some oil into the tip. Any light oil would have worked. I just happened to have a bottle of some high quality Lucas CLP handy. I used some Scotch Brite soaked in WD 40 to clean up the furl. Anytime I see dull colored plating on steel, I worry that it's cadmium plating. Cadmium dust can be hazardous to breathe, so I like to keep it wet to minimize the dust. Next, I went over the furl and the shaft with the extra fine gray Scotch Brite. I gave the plastic abrasive wheels a try on the tip. I used a couple of the finer grit wheels. I think they did a decent job. You can find these on Amazon. I'm really hoping they can replace the wire wheels that fling little wires all over me. Chuck and I polished the metal with flits. I waited until Chuck was busy changing the oil on his 4x4 to work on the plastic handle. Chuck gets upset if he catches me using another brand of polish. This handle was in such good shape, I just washed it with soap and water and polished it with Plastex. Here's what the Hunter screw holding screwdriver looked like when I got it from Big Vic. It didn't need a lot of work, but I think it looks better now. The patent on the handle dates back to 1943. Here's some magazine ads from the 1950s. Archive.org had a 1964 65 catalog with my screwdriver on pages 4 and 5. According to my research, Hunter Tools was acquired by KD Tools in the late 1970s and KD was merged into GearWrench in the mid-2000s by Apex Tool Group. A screw-holding screwdriver with the same tip design is still available today. A Phillips head version is also available. All right, what do you say we give this thing a test drive? So the action here, you push it, see, and it's spring-loaded. And when you push it, let's see if I can focus that. When you push it, that center part rotates. Can you see that? See it rotate? And that's what's going to lock the screw. Here's the screw. And I'm just going to push it together. 
There, now it's pushed together. It's on there. Now the ad said 30 pounds, huh? I don't know about 30 pounds. It's on there pretty tight. I don't see it falling off. Push it back on there. So now it's pushed on. You can reach in, do what you have to do to tighten it. And then once the screw's tight in whatever you know you put it into, you can pop it right out. I have to say, I think that's a pretty nifty deal. This was a fun, quick cleanup and an excellent addition to my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out Big Vic's YouTube channel and follow him on Instagram.